This podcast is brought to you by Enlightening Learners Academic Coaching and Tutoring Services. In this presentation, we're going to learn how to identify relations and show relations as sets of ordered pairs, tables, and graphs. Your questions. What do the terms relation, domain, and range mean? How do you determine the domain and range of a set of ordered pairs? And finally, demonstrate how to convert data into a table, ordered pairs, or a graph. A relation refers to any set of ordered pairs uh, for ex in a x comma y. So an example of this would be the point 2 comma 3. The domain is all of your x values. Remember, your x's are x comma y's in any ordered pair. So the domains are those. And we list them as 0, 4, 5, and 8. If there's any repeating domains, you don't have to identify them. But you do have to identify every unique domain. Um, additionally, the domain is also known as your independent variable. Now we've got a set of um, points here, and the range are all of your y's. And it's also your second element in this in a data set. The y's are also known as your dependent variable, and that's because typically what your y is de is dependent on your x. So we've got a table here, a relation, that shows the US population and the year. The x variables, the domains, are the years. That's 1960, 1970, 1980, 90, and 2000. And your your range is the population. 181, 205 million, 228 million. Incidentally, the reason why your domain, excuse me, your range is considered your dependent variable is because the range depends on the year. The year does not determine the population. The population is determined by the years. One final point is typically in a data set such as this, your domains are typically listed first. So again, if I were going to put these in a an ordered pair, I'd write it as 1960, comma, 181 million. And they would go in parentheses.